Hello viewers, welcome back to another section of my tutorial. In this video, we're going to solve an applied electricity problem here, which happens to be a telemetry application problem. So, I have a circuit here, and it says it is desired to use telemetry to find the current in the one ohm resistor here. And the first question is find the telemetry voltage in volts, find the telemetry resistance in ohms, then finally find the current in the one ohm resistor in amperes. Kindly subscribe if this is your first time visiting this channel and don't forget to watch this video to the end. Okay, so when you are given a Tevenis problem, what you have to do is you have to take the resistor into consideration out of the circuit and create an open circuit there. So you have to redraw this circuit and open that part where we have the one ohm like this. You open it, then this continues here. So you have the 5 volts here, you have the 7 volts here, then you have our VTH, that is 7 is voltage, then you also complete the circuit here. So I have my 3 ohm here, I have my 2 ohm here. Okay, so from this diagram, let's see, I want to find my 7 is voltage, and this is an open circuit voltage. So this 5 volts is going to produce a current. But have in mind that this place is not a part because it has been open and current can never jam this infinite resistance here. For that reason, when the current is being produced from the 5 volt, it will move straight past here then to come here. So we have to introduce only one current. So let me put it here as I. The next thing is to assign a direction for our turbulence voltage. So let's choose the top part like this. Then after you take a loop, so let me take this loop this way. So in this loop, the total voltage is equal to 5V, then since it's against the VTH, right minus VTH should be equal to the sum of the voltage drops. And you only have a single resistor in this loop, but it's 2 ohms. So the voltage drop is simply 2I. Therefore, our VTH making the subject here is equal to 5V or 5 volts minus 2I. And that is our first equation. Put it down. The next thing is to take another loop where we can be able to find our 2i. So let me take this entire loop like this. So I'm also moving that way like that. So I'm going to have the sum of the voltage to be 5 minus 7. Since I'm moving the opposite direction to be equal to the sum of the voltage drops across the 2 and 3. But since it happens that the current passing through is the same, I'll just add the two resistors 2 plus 3 multiplied by our i. Hence, I'm going to get negative 2 to be equal to 5i. Therefore, my i is equal to negative 2 over 5. Once I get my i, I just put it into the first equation to get my VTH. My VTH is simply equal to 5 minus 2 open bracket, negative 2 over 5. And that's going to give me 5 plus 4 over 5, which is equal to 5.8 volts. So our VTH in volts is 5.8 volts let's quickly move to our vt sorry our rth now to do the rth the principle is saying that you are supposed to remove every source and here we have a voltage source to remove a voltage source you just short circuit that part if it happened to be a current source you only open that part so since you have a voltage source let's just circuit that part then we're going to put rth to the part we had the vth so you redraw the circuit, then you just circuit that part. So this is my RTH here. Then I'm having my three ohms here, my two ohm here. Now you can see that the two ohm and the three ohm, there is a node in between, so they can never be in series. But when I traverse through them, I'm not going to meet any other elements, so they are in parallel. So my RTH is simply equal to two ohm being parallel to three ohm, and it's simply equal to two by three over two plus three. And that is giving me 6 on 5, 1.2 ohm, as simple like that. Now let's go straight to the final question, finding my hot I. You know that I is equal to VTH over RTH plus our R. And my VTH was 5.8 over my RTH, which is 1.2 plus my R, which is 1. So I'm going to get 5.8 over 2.2. And that is going to give me 2.64. 2.64 amperes so 5.8 over 
2.64 amperes and that is the end of this video kindly subscribe and don't forget to like thanks for watching